how beautiful these pictures are? Well, neither can Mid Journey. That's the secret. Let me explain. A couple of weeks ago, Mid Journey released a new feature where you can submit a picture and ask Mid Journey to describe it for you. This helps with prompt building and finding out just how Mid Journey actually sees the world. And when I tried it, I found something kind of crazy. You can use this new feature by hitting forward slash describe in Discord. Then it will give you a chance to upload a picture, and then it will give you four prompts that will attempt to describe the picture. I took this picture here, and this is what it came up with. Number one, kind of standard, two, kind of standard. But then I'm reading number three, a house with a yellow clock on a hillside in the style of retro futuristic cyberpunk, crisp neopop illustrations, ink blots. But then look at this. I can't believe how beautiful this is. They, I, that's in the prompt. Like, what? What does that mean? My understanding is that because it's there, it means it does something to your pictures. Is making beautiful art that easy? Just telling Mid Journey to create something that you won't be able to believe? Is this the biggest hack in Mid Journey history? I kinda think so, and I have a scientific way of proving it, but the results are iffy and I'd like to hear your opinion. Let me show you a quick example and then I'll teach you how to do this comparison on your own. The prompt is, Angel in the style of metal, heavenly and earthy, shine and rust, divine and industrial, wings and chains, white and black. Here is that prompt with the same seed number. The only difference is that on the right, we have the words, I can't believe how beautiful this is in the prompt. These are identical except for that. And look at the difference. What a big difference. Here on the left, I mean, they're cool looking, but they're not that great. And then inputting the words, I can't believe how beautiful this is, you get some absolutely gorgeous just photos. Is that all you have to do? Is it that easy? It's hard to believe, but this seems to make it true, at least most of the time. I'll go over some more examples, but let me show you quickly how to do this on your own. In order to test this yourself, I'm going to recommend you create a shortcut. To do that, you're going to hit forward slash and then the words prefer. It'll give you a few different options here, but we want prefer option set. These are all the ones I've created before. Here's what we're gonna create. Now next to the word option, this is where we get to decide what the name of our shortcut is gonna be. I recommend the letters I-C-K. Ick. Because I can't believe how beautiful this is shortens up to a nice acronym, IKBIBT. At least that's how I think you would say it. So you're going to type your shortcut. I use ICK. You can use whatever you want. Now, the key thing to do here is hit the plus one more next to the message box. This is going to bring up a new option above called value. We're going to click on that. And this is where we're going to type in the entire phrase. I can't believe how beautiful this is. Now, once you hit enter, every time you write dash dash ick, it's going to expand into I can't can't believe how beautiful this is. Okay, now that we've created the shortcut, here's how you test it on a prompt. Write whatever prompt you want. Let's go with uh, Cardboard Voltron Defender Wax Lightning Miniature Tornado. So you have your prompt. Then the key thing to do is use one of the other new features permutations. You don't necessarily need to do this, but it will save you time in the end. So we're going to hit the squiggly bracket. Then we're going to put in our shortcut dash dash ick. But here's a key lesson for you. Normally you would put a comma and then another phrase or something else you'd want to try. And what the permutation would do is it would run two prompts with each of the options. So just for example, one of the options is I can't believe how beautiful this is. And the other is awful drawing. Let's just say those were the two options. If you close it with a squiggly bracket, mid your will now run two prompts, one with each of those options. But we don't want to do ikbibt versus something else. We want to do ikbibt versus nothing at all. And to do that, we're going to add one extra comma. So it's dash dash ik comma comma, close it with a squiggly bracket. Now mid journey will run the prompt with I can't believe how beautiful this is and without it. That's key. But the last thing, you cannot forget this if you really want to test it out. You need to include a seed number so we can really see which words have an effect on the prompt. Dash 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 seed, pick a number, whatever I chose. You're going to hit enter and it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to run two prompts? Just in case you want to check it out, we could hit show and it's going to give us one prompt with ikbibt and one prompt without it. We hit yes. While they're generating, let's take a look at some of the other examples. Now, I don't think the prompts matter much here. I just want you to focus on the pictures. On the left side, it does not include the words. I can't believe how beautiful this is. On the right side, it does. Using the same seed number, we can see the effect of ikbibt 
Bibti. And what do you think? I would say that honestly, Mid Journey makes beautiful pictures basically no matter what. But the point is, they are different whether you include a Bibti or not. And that's a big deal. Just for the record, I wouldn't be surprised if someone liked the left side better. So is this the greatest hack of all time? Maybe. What is it called when you found a hack, but it doesn't work every time? Maybe this is a glitch or a bug, but those sort of have negative connotations. And I don't think that applies to Ik Bibti. So maybe this is a quasi strategy or tactic that you can use in your mid journey prompts. Check out these pictures, the Galactic Barnyard by Alex Gray and Steve Ditko. On the left without Ik Bibti, it's kind of hard to see what's going on. It's very busy, but when we include Ikbibti in the prompt and the same seed number, check this out. D look how beautiful those are. I mean, again, I wouldn't be shocked if you like the other side more, but the big takeaway is that they are different. And just telling Midjourney that you can't believe how beautiful something is might result in better pictures. I don't think it would be appropriate of me to show you only examples of where it worked. I don't want to give you any wrong ideas or false hope. I just want to share the possibilities with you. That being said, said, look at these. Low angle shot on the shore of an aquamarine mountain lake. On the right side is Igbibti, but can you tell a difference? Like, is there? Is there enough of a difference? I don't know. I don't think so. So when should you use this hack? In my opinion, when you get a generation that you don't like, I'd say there is a good chance it makes the picture better. You know what I mean? And remember, use the same seed if you actually want to see the difference. These next three examples are the same prompt at three different seed numbers. Left side, no ikbibti, right side, ikbibti. Mmm, what do you think? Uh, these are pretty equal, but like I said earlier, Mid Journey basically makes beautiful pictures no matter what. But then we have these, and there are some direct comparisons we can make. Number one and number one. I think I like Ikbibti more. Number three and number two. Uh, maybe I like the normal one better. Number four and number three. Ah, it's a toss up, but I might be a fan of Ikbibti. And then number two and number four, I'm going with Ikbibti as well. So there's a good example. Even if they're going to be super similar, you might prefer Ikbibti more. It changes the pictures. How crazy is that? And sometimes it can even give you really different looking pictures. But the reason I wanted to share this with you is because I think it can actually make a huge difference. Look at these. On the left side, normal prompt, the king of the dogs, retro futuristic cyberpunk, yada, yada, yada. I think these are cool. I'd be super happy with them normally, but you put in Ikbibti and look at these, man. Oh, I get goosebumps. Number three is so sick. Number four, also super nasty. Number one and number two look similar to the prompt without Ikbibti, but come on, man. You cannot deny that Midjourney cannot believe how beautiful these are. Crazy. Okay, let's go back to Discord and check in on that live demonstration. I have no idea what's going to be there. Let's see if it worked. Live demonstration. Cardboard Voltron Defender. Wax Lightning. Miniature Tornado. It's a bunch of random words, you know, whatever. And you know, these are kind of cool. We use the C3847289. And sure, these look pretty sick, I, I guess. Oh, 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 look at, look at this, man. Can you believe how beautiful these are? Holy cow. All I changed is I can't believe how beautiful this is. Wow. And you know what? I screwed up a little when I was writing the permutation. I should have included a comma before the brackets to really space this out. But in all honesty, you don't even need to include commas in your mid journey prompt. They're basically just there to help the human mind read it more easily. But look at these dude. What a difference a simple phrase makes and the funniest phrase you could think of. I can't believe how beautiful this is. That might be all you need to get the craziest mid journey generations. If you think this is pretty cool, leave a like on this video so we can share it with more people. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time. Peace.